To set up your MIDI device, start off by clicking on Devices and go to Device Setup. In the Device Setup window that opens up, you'll want to click on MIDI Port Setup on the left-hand column. Now the MIDI Port Setup will open up. And here, you can choose which inputs you want to enable for your MIDI in. You'll notice that you've got the section listed as In All MIDI Ins on the right-hand side here. If I go ahead and click on the box that's under this section, I'll make MIDI inputs active. So now I've made the MIDI input active for my direct music and my Windows MIDI devices. You'll notice the now under state, it currently says active. Now, if I go ahead and go back into my Cubase project and I take a look at a MIDI track, if I select the all MIDI inputs pull down from the track inspector, here I can choose to have my MIDI input come from the various MIDI devices that are connected to my computer. If I select all MIDI inputs, the track will accept MIDI from any and all MIDI capable devices connected to the computer. If I take a look at the MIDI output section, here I can choose which MIDI port I want to use as an output port from Cubase. This is useful if I want to send MIDI out to another MIDI device, such as a sequencer or a keyboard or another device connected to my computer. I can now play MIDI into Cubase using my MIDI keyboard and the MIDI track will see the MIDI being played from my keyboard.